Shalom, Shalom. Even all praise and ain't glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Kadash. Double honors to the apostles, elders, and brothers on the Great Millstone, and the salutations will hopefully lack. Uh, today's lesson, you know, we are talking about, um, you know, as Joseph was, uh, you know, a, a, a head or a, a, a watchman, right, over uh, Egypt and over the nation of Israel that helped Israel um, be fed in the time of famine, you know what I mean? So will the, the Holy Spirit, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, right, step in on our behalf and um, feed us in like manner. In these last days, you know, we're going to see a lot of uh, miracles, right? Um, a lot of strange things that, that you know, we've you know, we never seen before. That we can't think with our mind that's going to happen. All right, so just as uh, Joseph, you know, he, you know he, he, he prepared for the, um, the time that he did. So in like manner, we have to prepare um, spiritually. All right, we got we to um, get ourselves right. Get ourselves right in these last days so the Most High can uh, pass over us. Um, with the coming destruction, as well as you know, the dead angel passed over Egypt. I right, when they went through um, their families and stuff. All right, Do you, you want to start with uh, Isaiah, Isaiah 62, 62, verse 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. All right, so it says so um, constantly, man. Um, brothers always put enough videos. You, you know, one o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning, where those brothers are sleeping, you have brothers uploading videos and um, bringing out news articles, 10 o'clock in the morning. So this thing is, uh, is constantly, just as uh, how you have a soldier, you know, he's constantly watching east, west, north, and south to see if there's oncoming enemies. You know, you know we and um, the apostles and elders, um, starting all the way down to the brothers, you know what I mean, is uh, watching, you know what I'm saying, for the prophecies um, that are unfolding, you know, the, you know the famines and stuff like that you know that's happening in society to get people ready so as a soldier is watching to, to sound the horn to blow the horn to warn the people so the apostles and elders on down is also watching and blowing the trumpet all right in these last days um to get the, the people ready at least in, in the spirit all right okay. uh, yea that make mention of the lord the whole boss of keep not silent all right so we're not supposed to keep silent no matter what we see all right we supposed to sound the horn night or day, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, anything pertaining to, uh, to prophecy, you know, and getting all people uh, ready, you know, repentance. You know, we're not supposed to keep silent on, on it. We're supposed to also defend the gospel. That's another way of um, of not, uh, you know, what I mean, keeping silent, all right? So again, um, you know, I'm uh, Rai Banyam, man. This is the brother. Mayam, Mayam. You know, just here to do a quick. Uh, that's a good video together. Uh, second Ezra 16, verse uh, 17. Woe is me. Woe is me. Who will deliver me in those days? All right, so this is the, the brother, um, you know, Ancestor Ezra. You know, when he he had the vision, you know, about the end times, you know, you know, he, he, he was um, startled, you know, I mean, he wanted to know, you know, who was going to save him in those last days, you know, because it, it was so bad. And just as uh, he, the vision that he saw, we're gonna see it play out, you know, actually. You know what I'm saying? Um, the scripture says that the righteous are um, scarcely be saved, right? So that, that that's our law willing. If we are part of the elect, that's how we are gonna, um, you know what I mean, be saved as well, you know what I'm saying? So as he wondered, you know, how is he gonna be, be how is he gonna be saved? We're gonna come so close to, you know, um, destruction or whatever, you know what I mean? And we're gonna wonder, hey, is the, is the Lord with us? Is he gonna, um, protect us from these things, you know what I'm saying? Verse 18, the beginning of sorrows and great mornings, the beginnings of famine and great death. So you see, and these are, that's the time that we are living in right now. We are in the beginning stages of um, these things. As they, they said, uh, the oil, um, there's oil shortages. India is gonna, is gonna cut, you know, um, what's that word? Um, yeah, it's gonna cut sending out uh, you know supplies of uh, oil to other country because they wanna keep that for you know for their people. You know what I mean? There's a wheat um, shortages. There's baby formula shortages. Um, people are losing their jobs. A lot of people are living in cars. Um, you know RVs and stuff like that. You know hours are being cut short. The utility bills is going up. Food is going up. So these are the beginning of um, sorrows that 
that Ezra is um, is talking about right now that we are seeing in real um, in real time is going to get worse as the days go by. Kind of amazing. You know, there's over 20 over 20 uh, food processing plants that's uh, been burned down. You know, so when, uh, people were, were in there working while they were burned down. So uh, people lost their lives, and uh, the people that were employed there lost employment. So there's over 20 20 uh, food processing plants. So that's going to uh, help speed up the famine here in America. You know, or Babylon. You want to read where? Uh, uh, we we'll start over again. Second Ezra 16, verse 18. The beginnings of sorrows and great mournings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars, and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils come? See? Can I get into it a little yeah, bit? yeah. That's the question that the, uh, Ezra is asking. What shall he do when these evils come? You know, but we know what we have to do. We have to come on in the highways and byways, push forth this message, be watchful on the walls, push forth this message to, to, to help wake the elect up, and in turn, we get a mark of exemption uh, called the Dua in our spirit. Because it, it, back in Egypt, uh, the, the exemption from, from famine, you know, they, they had stored up goods for seven years, so that way when the famine came, uh, Joseph and, and, and the children of Israel was, was sustained during that famine. But during this famine, you know, we all here doing the work, you know, so that way we can get exemption, the spiritual mark, the why you know, so from, from the troubles that's that's going to uh, befall Israel, because uh -huh. it's already predestined, you know, that two two thirds of two parts of Israel shall be cut off and die, uh -huh. but the third part should be should be brought through the fire. And Lord willing, you know, we be uh, that number, you know, that's why we out here, you know, making our our, our, uh, our, our bodies a living sacrifice. Uh -huh. You know, what I mean, through the winter, snow, sleet, hell, whatever, uh -huh. you know, for the, for, the, for the salvation. So we, I'm gonna go to. Uh, Ezekiel the ninth chapter nine and four. It's not um, I, 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 while, while, he, while the brother's getting that, um, I'm gonna continue reading down just a little bit. We stopped at the, uh, eighteen, right? Uh, it says um, in Second Ezra sixteen and nineteen, it says, "Behold, famine, plague, uh, tribulation, anguish are sent as scourges, you know, for amendment, you know. So you know, pretty much because uh, you know the." The sin of this place, man, um, Babylon the Great, you know, and the, the times that we are coming in, you know, the, the Lord is bringing in, um, you, know, you know, the the kingdom of heaven. You know, the scripture says, um, because of uh, unrighteous dealings, the kingdom is given from, translated from one yes. uh, people to another. Yeah. <clears throat> right? So, these things must happen, man. Um, the plagues, the, the, the famine, the tribulation, you know, all these anguishes, you know, people are mourning can't feel it the women can't feed their children um all these things are spoken of you know um of the brother ezra's that is going to come upon us um in these last days but um the, the last uh, last two scriptures on the red it says um in verse 20 but for all these things they shall not turn from their wickedness nor be always uh, mindful of the scourges so people is going to see these things happen and they won't consider the most high um, I think the scripture says uh, Israel do it not consider. Yeah. You know what I mean? So they're going to continue in their wickedness. Um, they will look for ways to get out of their situation carnally, but they wouldn't seek for a spiritual situation. All the men that are on the highways and byways, whether downtown, near the park, no one is considering. No one is considering that these men are wearing garments and they are shouting, they are reading from the Bible. What are they, what are they talking about? Even from a... a, a um, What's that word? Um, you, you know, like scrutiny um, point of view. You just want to know what's going on with, with these guys. They stand up in the middle of nowhere or whatever. Just stand up there with some garments, strange garments. Or, you know what I mean? Hey, let's go find out what's going on. But if it was a party or something like that, you know, with reggae music, you know, the wild reggae music or kind of music playing or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, you know, they were coming in choir, like, how do we dance? You know what I mean? You know, it'd be modus operandi, you know what I'm saying? They're going to flock to it, you know what I mean? And uh, last verse I want to read in the verse 21, it says, Behold, victory shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon the earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. As you all see, these um, church leaders, they are not um, warning the people of the MOTB, um, to come 
You know what I mean? World leaders are talking about these things. These are things that is actually happening. But the church, which is supposed to be the, the headship, you know, the head, yeah, the head leadership of the people telling them what's going on and what's coming and how to, you know, have them react to it righteously according to what the Mosai and Yahweh Bashim and Oshai prescribe for us to do. They are not doing these things. They are remaining silent. I think that the brother read that um, we are not to remain silent day or night, right? Yeah, yeah. Not to be quiet. Yeah. So they, they are not uh, sounding the, um, the, you know, the trumpet. So these wickedness and, uh, and these families is going to come upon the people. They wouldn't have no, no hedge because the leaders are not telling them uh, they're not giving them the right direction. No? Well, the scriptures say, woe, woe, woe unto the pastors that destroy and scatter my sheep. Yeah. You know, when it's, it's men that's, that's in the circumcision, you know, they know that they're Israelites, they know the true name of the Lord, but they're still not warning the people of the dangers that's coming. And we're not even going to speak about the Christian church. They've never been real watchmen. It's always been about prosperity doctrine. You know? Ezekiel, Ezekiel 9 verse 4. And the Lord said unto, unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst of us. See? So we are sighing and crying every time, you know, our brother, you know, he hits the record button, you know, he does a lesson, he goes on the highways and the byways. And even that, you know, you know when he got to um, pay a grievous bill, you know, when he sigh, you know, he's uh, sending up that, that cry unto the most high, like, you know, you know, we would like to get out of here. You know, when you see uh, an abomination, two, two women walking down the street holding hands or two men, you know, kissing or whatever, and he sigh, that's him, you know, making a, a petition unto a cry the most high, you know what I mean, that we would like um, judgment to come upon this place because of all the, um, you, you know, the, the wickedness, you know what I mean? So starting from the apostles and the elders on down, you know what I mean, they are sighing and crying, and they have been sighing and crying for over 40 years, you, you know what I mean? And um, we, as um, you know, young men in the faith, we have entered into their um, into their labor. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we um, are apt to teach um, precept upon precept. You know, line upon line here a little, um, there a little. You know, so we are observing the the times. You know, that it, the time that is here right now and the signs that we are seeing, signs in the heavens and you know, signs on the grounds. You know, we had a blood moon the other day. You know, a lot of um, plagues you know, and destruction, pestilences and stuff went out then, you know what I mean? And these things are happening exponentially. So right now me and the brother my um, you know, we are here, you know, to warn you to get ready so that you will also have that that mark, that, that uh, mark of exemption. Oh, God. You know, upon your foreheads. Oh. Right? So the, the starvation, the hunger, the, the pestilence, the uh, the wickedness, the destruction, right? These things are gonna come upon you with that hedge. Just as uh, our ancestors, they had uh, the blood on the doorposts, right? Okay. They had the blood on the doorposts as their hedge of protection from the dead angel, right? And so the mark of, um, of exemption, the Tawah, right, would be also your mark of exemption, Lord willing, you know, we all be um, part of the elect, you know? Okay. Uh, verse 5, And to the others he said in mine hearing, Go ye after him through the city, and smite, let not your eyes fear, Neither have ye pity. See, so we we are warning we are warning people, right? So see, right now you know we have that um, before we have the empathy, you know we, we don't want to see our um, Lord destroy um, you, you know people. And even he, he said he would rather you repent. He would rather you repent than than face destruction. But when these things um, uh, start happening, because we have been warning for so long, and the apostles and elders have even been was warning, you know, for such a long time that, you know, we wouldn't have any pity upon them because um, their blood wouldn't be upon our hands, um, you know, anymore. You know what I'm saying? We want to see our people do right, but these people are are, um, are, are wicked. It is reminiscent of that situation with Jeremiah, where he and the Lord was uh, going down in number, how much could be saved and, um, and stuff like that. So, we there will be no, no no pity and we won't feel any any remorse when these judgment happens but like i said um this is not you know a prideful statement or anything because we are all uh seeking to obtain uh, mercy from you how about you know at the end of the day we are not um perfect you know what i mean you know we're trying um to the best of our to the best of our ability right because these um that these things that we are doing here is not um grievous 
right? You know, like the brother um, from South Carolina said, um, you know, just hit the record button, you know. It don't have to be no long sermon or anything, you know. You, you bring out the article or whatever, you read uh, precepts to match the topic, you know, that you're, um, you're selling, that you're, um, you know what I mean, talking about, and, and you close it out, you know what I'm saying? Say, slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children, and women, or come not near any man upon whom is the mark, and begin at my sanctuary, and they begin at the ancient men which were before the house. See? So these things wouldn't come upon us as long as we have that mark of um, exemption upon us. All these uh, things that the brother just mentioned wouldn't um, you know, come upon us. You know what I'm saying? But we got to stay and we got to endure until the end. Um, we could start hot and heavy in the beginning, but then somewhere along the line, you know what I mean? You know, we sin, we fall off, you know what I'm saying? Um, that same destruction is going to be, you know, fitted uh, for us. So this thing we got to be faithful and we got to endure until the end. You want to say something? Yeah, no work, no work. So that's the thing, enduring until the end in faith. Enduring until the end, you know what I mean, in faith. You know what I mean, you may fall, but the scriptures say a righteous man, you know, do you fall, you know, you get up sometimes. So even though, you, you know what I mean, you may have a mishap, you, you repent, you go before the Lord about it, you tell him about it, you know what I mean, you seek repentance, and, and you, you know, you push forward, you move on, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, in that time of Jacob's trouble, you know, the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahushua said, his servant shall eat. You know, while everybody else, you know, uh, starving from famine, you know, killing each other, breaking us, breaking us out of homes, and just doing a whole bunch of uh, mischievous and evil, you know, his servant's gonna eat. So I'm gonna go into the, uh, the scriptures to substantiate that. Uh, Isaiah 65 verse 13 Therefore thus said the Lord power Behold my servant shall eat But ye shall be hungry Behold my servant shall drink But ye shall be thirsty Behold my servant shall rejoice But ye shall be ashamed Speak on it Yeah so You know what I mean uh, read, read that one more time bro. Come. Isaiah 65 verse 13 Therefore thus said the Lord power Behold my servant shall eat But ye shall be hungry Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. All right, so the brother said, um, servant, that word servant is in there multiple times. So a yep. servant of the Most High is, um, is doing the work, yep. right? You know, it's not only, you know, just, you know, praying and, and, and stuff alone. No, you got to come attend and do the work. Stand on the highways and the byways, right? You got to also, you, you know, repent, rehearse the righteous acts, keep the, the high holy days. Uh, the Sabbath, uh, last Sabbath was uh, Sunday sundown to Monday sundown. So, you know, refrain, we supposed to also um, follow the, the dietary laws, okay? Not commit um, uh, uh, adultery. In all these things, um, doing the work, also culminate into being um, a servant of the Most High. Warning, warning the people, you know, not, not sinning. And by doing these things right and you're doing it in fear truth and in and in sincerity the most high is going to grant a hedge of protection over you know what the brother just read you know you will eat when the famines happen you're going to eat you're going to drink the, you know what i mean like um the the brother i think um who, who was it when um the brother was in, in captivity and the lord sent um uh Daniel. Yeah, Daniel. Daniel lines, Daniel. Right. Yeah. Uh, he, you know, sustenance and food and all of that. Yeah, yeah. So these things are, are going to happen, man. It's going to look like we have no way out. You know, there's no food. You know what I mean? Um, you know, the, ch the, the, the children are looking at you. Your wife are looking at you. Like, how are you going to eat? You know what I'm saying? Or, or you know, what, what are you going to do? And uh, th th this is why we need to be careful in this truth because uh, a lot of women, they're going to try to get their men to do things carnally. Um, you know, to, to, to get that sustenance, to, to get that food. But here it is, the, the, you know, the Lord is telling us, you know, as long as you, you do what, what, what I tell you to do, you be my servant, you warn the, the flock, you and your, and, and, and the people next to you, you know, your wife, your children, it's going to be okay. You know what I mean? And um, that is our, you know, assurance, you know what I mean? And faith that, you know, we trust in the Lord. While people are looking at what we are saying right now, like, man, Y'all, it's serious right now, you know what I mean? We need to suck up this water and this food, you know what I mean? What y'all were saying 10 years ago, you know, was all right, but it's serious now, you know what I mean? We need to get this pantry going, oh, you know, yeah, I mean, to the best of your ability, you have a little something, you know, you, you need to be wise, right? 
you, you put aside a little something, something, you know what I mean? But at the end of this day, it's going to be fair because if you stuck up all those things, the most I could create a, a situation that we, you wouldn't be able to, to use all that stuff that, um, you know, you, you put down, you know what I mean? So the brother and myself, we, you know, we just here, you know, trying to tell you like, look, you know what I mean? Just do what the Lord said to do, do it in fair truth and sincerity, and he got your back, that's it. He got your, you know, he got your back, you know what I mean? Pray, and that's the most I pray, increase of um, faith, because you're gonna really need it, um, you know what I mean, in, in these times, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, uh, the servants, the servants of the Lord, you know, are, are, are the men that you see on the highways and byways, uh -huh. you know, week in and week out, making their making bodies a living sacrifice. Mm -hmm. We have total faith, you know, that the Lord is going to uh, make do for us and come through for us in the clutch, you know, because we're going to lift, lift up our hands to the heaven for once come for our help. You know, our help coming from the Lord was made heaven and earth. You know, he said he would not suffer thy foot to be moved. So, you know, we're relying on the Lord. You know, we're stacking up a little bit of food, but, you know, we're not going overboard with it. So, you know, uh, the, the men of the Lord... Lord willing, we we be we be at that number. You know, we gonna be we gonna be okay. As long as we as long as we continue to do this work and continue to have uh, faith, you know, we gonna be delivered. So you know, uh, praying over this lesson was edifying. To the next time, shalom. Shalom, shalom. Giving all praise and glory to you. Our Bar Shem, our Shai Bar Shem, the Prophet Dash. Now we're gonna see the apostles that was in Brazil on the millstone. This is your brother Rai Banyamian, my young. For the plain table scam, you say, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. 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 <laughs> uh, I wish I had like a time on it where it was like, uh, yeah.